Hello and welcome to Student Chambers. So today our short video will be on Ohm's Law. So our learning aim is for learners to have a basic understanding of the Ohm's Law principle. So in this short video we will look at what is Ohm's Law and why was it introduced and we will touch on how to calculate voltage, resistance and current using Ohm's Law Triangle. Where does Ohm's Law come from? George Simon Ohm's was a German physicist who discovered the basic law of electric conduction which is now called Ohm's Law. Ohm's law refers to one of the fundamental relationships found in electrical circuits. For a given resistance, current is directly proportional to voltage. So, if you increase the voltage through a circuit where the resistance is fixed, the current goes up. If you decrease the voltage, the current goes down. So if we look at that again, so if you're going to increase the voltage in a circuit where the resistance is fixed the current will go up and if you decrease the voltage the current goes down so the current is going to be following voltage so Ohm's law is expressed in this simple formula V equals I times R so V stands for voltage, I stands for our current, and R stands for our resistance. So if we increase the voltage through a circuit where the resistance is fixed, the current goes up. If you decrease the voltage, the current goes down. So we will now look at a practical example to see how does Ohm's law actually work? So our first example is we have a circuit which has 50 amps and the resistance is 20 ohms. So what will be the circuit voltage? So using our formula it will be 50 amps multiplied by 20 ohms. which gives us a thousand volts so we shall test our theory now if we increase the voltage through a circuit where the resistance is fixed the current goes up if you decrease the voltage the current goes down so we have the following values 230 volts and the resistance is fixed at 20 ohms So 110 volts divided by 20 ohms will help us work out the current which is 5.5 amps. So now we have 230 volts divided by 20 ohms. which equals 11.5 amps. So going back to our theory, if we increase the voltage through a circuit, so in our first example we had 110 volts, the resistance was fixed at 20 ohms, the current goes down. Now if we look at this again, we will now have 230 volts, so we have increased the voltage through a circuit, 20 ohms is still our resistance and our current goes up. So at 110 volts, when we're going to be stepping it down from 230 volts, our current goes down 
and if we increase from 110 volts to 230 volts, our current goes up. So this shows that the theory is correct and how it's practically implied. The Ohm's Law Triangle V I R. So when it comes for your exam revision, the Ohm's Law Triangle is fantastic. As long as you can remember it and you know what goes where, then you'll be able to calculate voltage, current and resistance. So if you would like to work out the voltage, that's current times resistance. If you'd like to work out current, that's voltage divided by resistance. And if you'd like to work out resistance, that's voltage divided by current. So just take a minute so you can make a note of this triangle and write it down. And you can always stop and play back this video to help you go through any sort of questions that you're not too sure about. Calculate, we're going to do voltage calculating activities. You have a circuit which has 12 amps and the resistance is 3 ohms. What is the circuit voltage? If you look back at your Ohm's Law Triangle, if you'd like to work out the voltage, what should we do? It's current multiplied by resistance, which will give us 36 volts. Our second question. You have a circuit which has 24 amps and the resistance is 6 ohms. What is the circuit voltage? Look back at your triangle. 24 multiplied by 6, which gives us 144 volts. So, I hope this has been beneficial for you. This is the introduction to the video, and during the course of the video, we have lots more activities that we have and if you'd like to view the full length video please go onto our website and then you can access our full length video from there. Thank you very much.